Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today is going to be a yoga flow for hips and opening up the chest, opening up the heart. So let's get started when you're ready in a child's pose. So sinking the sit bones back towards the heels and either resting the forehead on the hands or the forearms or if you want to you can reach the hands forward and then settle the forehead down onto the mat. Take a few nice deep breaths in and out through the nose. Just beginning to notice the belly rising and falling with each inhale and each exhale. It's beginning to find some space. Begin to make this child's pose nice and active, sort of stretching the fingertips forward, maybe moving through the shoulders a little bit. And then on your next inhale, bring the gaze forward, spider out the fingertips. And exhale, bring the forehead down to the earth. Bringing the stretch a little bit more into the upper back, but keep sending the sit bones back towards the heels. And then on your next inhale, round up to a tabletop position. Spread the hands out wide. Wrists, elbows and shoulders in one long line and then knees and hips are stacked. On your next inhale, go ahead and drop the belly down, lift up through the chest. Easy exhale, you round the shoulders, tuck the chin and push the mat away. Two more of those, big inhale, drop the belly, lift the heart. Easy exhale, round the shoulders, tuck the chin. And then one more time, inhale, drop the belly, lift the heart. And then exhale, round the shoulders and tuck the chin. Inhale to a flat back. Go ahead and tuck the toes under. And then send the sit bones back towards the heel. So you come to a child's pose with the toes tucked under. Just stretching out the feet. Keep drawing down through the armpits. And then inhale, rounding up. And exhale to your downward facing dog. So first down dog of the day. Feel free to walk it out a little bit. Bending one knee and then the other. Maybe wiggling the hips a little bit from side to side and just doing whatever you need to do to have a good practice today. Feel free to bring the legs super wide, bow down through the chest, maybe take a little bit of a sway side to side. forwards in between the hands, bend the knees and hop or step to the top of the mat. Lengthen the spine, inhale, fold forwards, exhale, allow yourself to hang heavy, go ahead and grab for opposite elbows with opposite hands so you come into a ragdoll forward fold. Little sway side to side. Take a nice deep breath in. On your next exhale, bend the knees so deep that the sit bones come down towards the mat. You come into a little squat, head stays heavy. And then inhale, sending the sit bones up and back, intend to straighten the legs. We'll do that twice more. So exhale, bend the knees, come down to your little squat. And then inhale, sit bones up and back, intend to straighten the legs. One more time, exhale, bend the knees, and you can either stay here or if you want to begin to lift up through the chest, keeping those hands to opposite elbows, maybe bringing the hands up and over, nice long spine. And then exhale, sit bones up and back, forward fold. Release the hands down towards the earth, nice deep breath in, lengthen through the spine, flat back. You can always bring your hands to your shins 
and then exhale, fold and soften. Inhale, bending the knees and then slowly rolling all the way up to stand. Sweep the hands up towards the sky. Interlace the fingers, turn the palms towards the ceiling and then take a little bit of a bend to one side and then the other. And then release, hands come down to the heart center, take a moment here and close the eyes. Grounding down through the feet, creating length and space in the spine. Then on your next inhale, open up the eyes, sweep the hands up, plug the shoulders into the torso. Exhale, bring the right hand forwards and the left hand back. Nice strong arms. Gaze out and over the left fingertips. And then inhale back to centre. Exhale, take it to the other side. Left hand forwards, right hand back. And then inhale back to centre. Connect the palms. Exhale, folding forwards. Chin to shins. Lengthen the spine. Flat back. Ground down through the fingertips, keep the right foot where it is, and then step the left foot back. So you come into a little lunge. And soften on down through that left knee. Take a nice deep breath in. Exhale, send the sit bones back, intend to straighten that right leg and bow down. Inhale, lengthen, soften that right knee. Exhale, send the sit bones back, bow down, toes active. Inhale, lengthen, soften the front knee. Exhale, send the hips back, bow down. Just pausing here for a breath or two. And then inhale, lengthen the spine, lift that left knee up off the mat. Set the left foot forward an inch or so, so that the foot comes down at a 45 degree angle. Keep the spine long as you bow down over that right leg. Again, intending to straighten, but keeping a micro bend in the knee. So knee's not blocked out. Micro meaning you probably can't see it with the naked eye, but you know it's there. And then lengthen the spine, soften that right knee, step the left foot back, just an inch. Big inhale, sweeping the hands up, coming into a high lunge. And then we'll interlace the fingers, bring the hands behind the back of the head and lift up through the heart. Standing out the back of the left knee, back of the left heel. Heart open. Exhale, bring the hands down, frame that right foot. Step back to your high plank pose. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. And then exhale, downward facing dog. And take a moment here, maybe set the feet up the mat a couple of inches. And again, if you want to walk it out a little bit, feel free. If you'd rather find some stillness here, then your practice, so go ahead and do that too. Big inhale, gazing forwards, bend the knees, hop or step up to the mat. Lengthen the spine, inhale, fold forwards, exhale. Inhale, rising all the way up to stand. Connect the palms, and then exhale, bring the hands down into the heart center. Inhale, sweeping the hands up towards the sky. Exhale, folding forward, hinging at the hips. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, ground down through the fingertips. Keep the left foot where it is. Right foot steps back. Softening on down through that right knee. Nice deep breath in. Exhale, sit bones come back. Intend to straighten that left leg. Bow down, little half splits. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, send the sit bones back. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, send the sit bones back. This time we'll pause here for a breath or so. Just finding space. And 
can show that you're in a pain-free range, so if anything doesn't feel quite right, then back off a little bit. And then lengthen the spine, inhale, lift that right knee up, step the foot forwards an inch or so, and then intend to straighten that left leg and bow down over that left leg. So a nice big hamstring opener. And then lengthen the spine, soften that front knee, step the right foot back again so you come back to your lunge. Big inhale, rising on up to your high lunge. Interlace the fingers the awkward feeling way. Send the hips forwards, lift up through the chest. So your arms are nice and relaxed here, there's no tension. Shoulders are soft, legs strong. And then exhale, bring the hands down, frame that left foot. Step back to your high plank pose. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. And then exhale to your downward facing dog. And again, take a moment here, walk it out, find some stillness, few breaths. And engaging forwards in between the hands. Bend the knees, hop or step, top of the mat, lengthen the spine, exhale, fold. Inhale, rising all the way up, connect the palms, exhale, bring the hands down into the heart centre. Take a moment here, close the eyes. <clears throat> Connecting back to the breath. On your next inhale, bend the knees, sink the sit bones down, come to your chair pose, Utkatasana. Plugging the shoulders in, spine long. And then connect the palms, bring the hands to the heart centre. Take a nice deep breath in. On your next exhale, bring the right elbow to the outside of the left thigh, spin the chest open. Little chair twist. And you can either stay here, you could open up the arms wide, or if it's in your practice, or you want to give it a go, hands come down to the mat, knees nice and high, create a little shelf with that right upper arm, come into a side crow. Back out the same way you came in, out of your twist, back to your chair, and then we'll take it to the other side. I'm just going to turn around so that you guys can see. Nice deep breath in. And then exhale, twist. Left elbow to the outside of the right thigh, palms to the heart space. Stay there or open the arms. And stay there or bring the hands down. Create your little shelf. Shift the weight forwards. Legs come out to the side. Keep pushing them out away. Flex the toes. Come out the same way you came in. So wherever you're at, back to your chair. And then exhale, fold. Letting nice length and space in the spine. Maybe a little sway side to side. Big inhale, lengthen the spine, flat back. Plant the palms down. Hop or step back to your high plank. Exhale. Chaturanga, inhale, up dog, and then exhale, rolling on over the toes, coming to downward facing dog. Take a nice deep breath in, sweep the right leg up and back, three-legged dog. You go ahead and bend the knee and open up the hip if that feels good. Rounding down through the hands. And then on your next exhale, step the right foot forwards to the outside of the right hand. Soften on down through the left knee and the left foot. Keep nice length and space in the spine. 
you find you've got more space, you can drop down to your forearms. And if you've got, you find you've got more space in the hip, you can come onto the skinny edge of the right foot and allow that knee to open on up. And then go ahead, come back up to the palms, ground down through that right foot. Ground down through the left hand, lift the right hand up towards the sky and either stay here or you bend the back knee, grab a hold of the left foot and then kick the foot into the hand, open up through the heart. And then exhale, slowly release without slingshotting the foot. Step back to your high plank pose. Shift the weight into the right hand, spin on open to the left, side plank, feet stacked or staggered. Maybe see what happens when you pick that top leg up. And then we'll come back to our high plank. Exhale, Chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. And then exhale to downward facing dog. And again, you can set the feet up the mat a couple of inches, maybe walk out the leg or find some stillness. And then we'll take it to the other side. Big inhales, you sweep the left leg up and back, bend the knee, open up the hip. Ground down through the palms, maybe circle the ankle, flex the toes, whatever feels good. And then on your next exhale, slowly with control, step the left foot to the outside of the left hand. Soften on down through the right knee and the right foot. So back to this little lizard pose. And again, you can stay here, hang out here for a few breaths. Or you might want to drop down to the forearms. Or again, if there's more space, sometimes it's nice to allow the knee to open up, find a little wiggle. It's a nice way side to side, length and space in the spine. And then nice deep breath in, come up to the palms, ground down through the right hand, lift up through the left, and either stay here or you bend that right knee, Grab a hold of the foot and again kick the foot into the hand and open up through the heart. So this is a really nice chest opener, heart opener, gets into the quads, into the hips. It's a pose that does everything really. And then slowly release. Tuck the back toes under. Step back to our high plank pose. Shift the weight into the left hand, spin on open to the right. So our nice side plank. Keep lifting up through the hips, pushing the mat away with the left hand. Maybe see what happens when you pick the right foot up. And then we'll come back to our high plank. Move through your vinyasa and we'll meet in downward facing dog. Take a nice deep breath in, bring the gaze forwards, bend the knees, hop or step, top of the mat. Lengthen the spine, inhale, fold forwards, exhale. On your next inhale, we'll rise up to our chair pose, Katasana, bending the knees, sinking the sit bones down. On your next exhale, come down onto the sit bones. Take your two peace sign fingers around the big toes, create a little yogi toe lock. Lift up through the heart, and then if it feels good, begin to extend the heels up towards the sky. Chest lifted. Think about energy reaching out through the bottoms of the feet. Maybe widen out the legs a little bit. And then exhale, bend the knees, 
Hug the knees in towards the chest, slide the hands underneath the feet, and roll around the shoulders and tuck the chin. Inhale, lengthen through the spine, release the feet. We'll bring the legs forwards, and then we'll bring the right leg in. Give that leg a nice big squeeze. And then crisscross the right ankle over the left thigh. Take a nice deep breath in, lift the left hand up towards the sky, and then big exhale to twist. Initiating the twist from the navel. So you could hug the leg if you prefer, or you can hug the elbow. Bringing the gaze out and over the right shoulder. Keep the left toes flexed. And then inhale back through center, exhale, take a little counter twist to the opposite side. I'm just going to turn around so I can show you this part. So we're in a little counter twist. And then you can stay here if you want to, or we're going to come into a baby grasshopper. So you bring the left hand forwards, maybe to the side of the mat. And then to the left, maybe six inches or so. Come onto the right hip. Left toes pointed at a 45 degree angle and really ground down through that foot. And then bring the right hand up towards the sky and grab a hold of that left foot. Gaze forwards. Take a nice deep breath in. Rock the weight into the hand and the foot and lift that bottom leg up. Think about chattering the arm. Strong shoulders, breathe. Use your core strength. And then exhale, slowly release. So we'll release both legs to the front of the ring. That one's a really fun arm balance and it's really accessible for everyone. So just give a little try and see what happens. Bring your hands to either your shins, your ankles, or your two-piece fingers around the big toes. Think about keeping the spine long. Nice deep breath in, lengthen, and then exhale, begin to fold. But instead of rounding here, think about keeping the gaze just beyond the toes. Maybe exhale, come down a little bit more. Use each exhale to guide you deeper into the pose. You might find that your hands can come over the feet or around the sides. And think about bringing the belly down onto the thighs. And we'll take one more breath. And then inhale, slowly coming all the way back up. So we'll bring the left leg in. Hug the knee in towards the chest, lengthen through the spine. Cross the left ankle over the right thigh. Take a nice deep breath in, lift the right hand up. And then big exhale, twisting from the navel. You can either hug the leg or hug the elbow. Left hand comes behind. Begin to bring the gaze behind you. So right eye is looking over that left shoulder. Right toes stay nice and active up towards the sky. And then inhale back through centre. Exhale, take a little counter twist to the opposite side. And then we'll give our baby grasshopper a go on this side. So you can shuffle over to the left a little bit more if you like. Come on to the left hip. Right hand to the centre of the mat, in line with the hip, and then out to the right, six inches or so. Left foot on the ground, grounding down so you've got that base. Right hand up towards the sky in front of that left leg. I always get confused. Grab a hold of the right foot. Take a nice deep breath in. And you can rock around a little bit, rock and roll, rock and roll, and then you shift the weight into the hand and the foot, Woo. and lift up. Breathe. You find that one side's easier than the other as well. And then exhale, release. Ah. Untangle the legs. 
Lean back a little bit. Shake them out. I'll come all the way down onto our back. Take a moment here, just plug the lower back into the mat. So you tuck the tailbone under, bring it forward slightly. Hands and arms out to the side. Feet nice and close towards the sit bones. Maybe you can tickle the back of your ankle with your longest finger. And then think about pushing the mat away. So pushing down through the palms, pushing down through the feet, and then inhale, lift the hips up towards the sky for a bridge pose. And you can either stay here or you interlace the fingers and shuffle the shoulder blade together. So you can lift the hips up a little bit higher, breathe into that upper back, so your thoracic spine. Keep magnetizing the thighs towards each other. And then exhale, slowly release. Widen out the feet, allow the knees to knock in together, bring the hands to the belly and close the eyes. Giving yourself a chance to come back to the breath. And then toe heel the feet back in line with the hips. Walk the feet in an inch or so, hands down to the side. Plugging the shoulders into the mat. So you can either do what we just did, so a bridge pose, or if you want to, follow along with me, we'll come into a wheel pose. So on your next inhale, push the mat away, lift the hips up, bring the hands towards the sky, plug the shoulders into the torso, and then bring the hands behind the back of the shoulder. Push the mat away with those hands, lift up through the chest. Keep lifting. Maybe walk the feet in a little bit. Think about sending the chest through the gateway of your arms. And then super slowly, exhale, release. Think about bringing the chin towards the chest. Try and land shoulders first. And again, knees knock in, feet widen out. Bring the hands up and over the crown of the head. Grab for opposite elbows. And then on your next exhale, we'll drop the knees over to the left. So the soles of the feet will come up, that's fine. Keep magnetizing the knees down to the floor. Doesn't matter how low they get or if they touch. That right knee probably won't anyway. And then inhale through centre. Exhale, allow the knees to drop over to the right. And then inhale through centre. Gently bring the knees in towards the chest, send the feet up towards the sky. Crisscross the right knee over the left, bend the knees, bring the hands to either the shins, the ankles or the feet, wherever you can reach really, as long as the shoulders are soft and the back of the head stays on the mat. Take a nice deep breath in, and then on your next exhale, draw the legs in towards the chest. Flex the feet, keep drawing the tailbone down towards the mat. This is a supine gomukhasana, so cow face pose. I was going to say gal face pose, it's kind of a combination of the two. Cow face pose. Uh, really nice for getting into the hips, maybe the glutes, maybe the kind of the sciatic nerve region. Um, different people feel it in different places. So just breathe into any tension, any pockets of tension that might pop up. Release the feet, untangle the legs, send the feet up towards the sky, crisscross the left knee over the right, and bend the knees, hands to either the shins, the ankles, or the feet. Back of the head stays on the mat, flex the toes. Big inhale, exhale, drawing the legs in towards the chest, shoulders soft. 
Again, combing through your body with the breath. Keep the jaw relaxed, face soft, maybe close the eyes. And then exhale, release. Untangle the legs, bring the knees in towards the chest, bring the knees towards the armpits. Bring the hands just below the kneecaps, frog out the feet, and then draw the knees apart. Spine long. And then go ahead and bring the hands to the outside edges of the feet. Coming into a happy baby pose. Keep reaching the tailbone towards the front of the mat. You can take a little sway side to side. Or you can extend out through one heel, or maybe the other up towards the sky. So just letting go, releasing any last remaining areas of tension or tightness in the body. And then release the feet. Bring the soles of the feet down onto the mat. Tuck the tailbone under. Release the hands and arms out to the side. Palms face up. And then if it feels good, send the feet towards the front of the mat. Tuck the shoulders underneath. Feet can fall out wide. Moving into Shavasana. So, allowing the eyes to sink deep into the sockets. Allowing the body to be heavy. And allowing, just for a few moments, to absorb everything that we've just done. So all of the good things, all of the good energy. So we'll be here for a few minutes. And I'll let you know when we're done.
take a really nice deep breath in through the nose. And a big exhale. Begin to find some movement for the body once again. Fingers, toes, wrists, ankles. When you feel ready to, bring the hands up and over the crown of the head. Come into a really big full body stretch. Creating all the space your body needs. Draw the knees in towards the chest. Give yourself a nice big hug. Gently make your way over to one side. And then super slowly with helping hands and keeping the eyes closed, we'll come back into an easy seated position. Grounding down through the sit bones, lengthening through the spine, crown of the head reaching up towards the sky. Spin the palms on up to face the sky. Take a moment here to feel a big sense of gratitude for your practice today, for coming to your yoga mat. And then bring your palms to your heart space. Bowing your head down to your hands. Namaste. Thank you so much for practicing with me today. I do hope you enjoyed. If you've got any requests, comments, leave them in the comments section below. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't done so already. And please, of course, like and share this video. I will see you next week. Bye, guys.